Here we have a problem that has to do with transformations. What are transformations? Well, they are actions that you can apply to a geometric figure that changes um, either its location or its orientation. Uh, and the ones we're looking at today are called a translation, a reflection, and a rotation. Those three um, are the, the answer choices uh, in our problem. So what is a translation? You can think of a translation as taking a figure and just pushing it somewhere else. So left, right, up, down, diagonally. So if this was our starting figure, this was our ending figure, it's been through a translation by just shoving it around. So I use the shorthand push to, to remember translation. A reflection is when you make a mirror image. Uh, you could reflect it uh, left and right. You could reflect it up and down. But there's going to be some line that you could draw. And on either side of the line, you're going to see a mirror image of the figure. So that's a reflection. And then finally, there's a rotation. And a rotation is when you spin uh, the shape. So you might get something that looks like this. You might um, spin it at some other point. Um, but uh, a rotation is a spin. So those are the three translations we're looking for. On all of these translations, the size of this thing stays the same. Another name for that is an isometry. All right, let's look at these problems. Um, Here's this first one. Which transformation is this? They're asking, is it a translation, a reflection, or a rotation? Uh, it doesn't really look like a translation, because in a translation, the object stays in the same, pointing the same direction. It's just moved away. So this is definitely pointing in a different direction. At first, you might think it's a reflection and, and try to draw a line where it would be a mirror image on both sides of that line. But it's not. Here's the longer part of the L, and here's the shorter part of the L. So I don't know how to draw a line that would make this a reflection. So what I think happened was, at this point, we just started rotating this figure, spinning it around. And I think that's how we got to this one. So I believe that one's a rotation. Let's look at this next one. It looks like this could be a translation because it's moved away, but it's pointing in the same direction. However, these are not the same size. So this is not a translation, a reflection, or a rotation. It's none of these. This is something called a dilation, but uh, we'll learn more about that later. All right, let's take a look at this one. Aha, uh -huh. I think this is a lot like the first one. We just uh, spin it around this point. That would give us that figure. So that's a rotation. And then finally, we have this last one. And if I drew a line right here, what I would have is a mirror image on either side of the line of reflection. So this is a reflection. So that is a little bit of work with identifying transformations.